to the channel it's me Courtney and today I'm coming at you with another story time video and I don't like the term story time because it irritates me but it's a really good story and all of the information was just brought to me on like Saturday and today's Monday so two days ago I found out about all this crap and all the pieces just kind of like came together and I was like I gotta do a video about this because this is fucking hilarious and this literally is the epitome of my life. So this is a story about how my date lied about going to jail so that he didn't have to go on a second date with me. Yay. So we actually started talking about a year ago, like this time, a year ago, we actually met and started talking, but we didn't reconnect until two months ago, like end of August, early September, I'm gonna say, I'm not 100% sure. I don't keep track of that stuff. I'm really bad at it. And, and he said, Courtney, I wanna take you on a date. And I was like, ah, I'm just gonna fill you in on a little information about yours truly. I am as socially awkward as it gets. I do not like dates. I do not like interacting with people that I don't know 100% about. So I don't like social things. Like I'm, I don't know. I'm really bad. I'm bad at dating. I don't like dating. Wow. I realized I really don't like dating. <laughs> so um, I thought, well, I'm going to pick the date because then it won't be that bad because I can like prepare myself because I don't like surprise dates. So yeah, you will not see me picking out a Nicholas Sparks perfect movie date. This is what I decided to do. I was like, let's go play Pokemon Go downtown. That is like the easiest way that I can go on a date with this dude, show him that I'm interested, but at the same time, not be so socially awkward that I shit my pants. He decided to go play Pokemon Go and that just proves how long ago this was because Pokemon Go is like dead now. We just went downtown, played Pokemon Go, got some cookout, played more Pokemon Go, and then I went home not calling it a date, went pretty well, I would say, because after that was over, he still talked to me. So that meant that I I did good. And he brought to my attention that he wanted to take me on another date. But then he says, no, Courtney, I want to pick the date this time. No! You out to dinner? I'm gonna buy you food, we're gonna go to a movie, and then we're gonna go to the park or something and just hang out just hang out i can't just hang out i'm a really really awkward bean and i don't know how to connect with humans so i was very nervous about this whole date and uh, i actually ended up getting my second job around that time that we were planning this so we actually ended up not going on that date I feel terrible being excited about that, but when you're as socially awkward as I am, like it, I really dodged a bullet with that one, so we're good. He just like stopped talking to me for like two weeks and I was just like, okay, well like that's chill and whatever. Because I used to be the clingy bitch that was always like, where are you? What are you doing? Why aren't you talking to me? But as I've gotten older, I'm just like, that, that shit doesn't get you anywhere, so you need to like tone it down a few notches and just be like, life happens. But then like after two weeks, he finally texts me and he's like, hey, sorry, went to jail. What? And my second thought was that he went to jail for like drugs or something or like dealing them, growing them. I don't know. I was like, who did I go on a date with? It turns out that he got like a speeding ticket or something, but then the cop was like, I mean, I'm not gonna file it or anything like that. Like, you have a good day. But then he ended up filing it anyway, and then they wanted him to pay on it, but they didn't, I don't know, something happened, and then he ended up going to, like, the county jail and being put, like, in a holding cell. And that was all that happened. But yeah, so after that and everything, I was like, oh, okay, well, like, are you gonna get it fixed? And he was like, yeah, like, we're gonna, like, file this and all this other legal shit, and... Then he said, but if it doesn't go through, then I will be going back to jail. Okay. More like another few weeks goes by and we're like talking, we're doing our normal thing, we're setting up other hangouts. But uh, another like month or so goes by and he like stops talking to me. So my automatic just like 
thought was that, okay, they ended up coming back and arresting him and he is in jail now. At point, I was just like, okay, well, like, that's kind of over, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't really want that kind of person in my life. I don't want to have to deal with that anymore. I mean, it, it took to the second time him going to jail to help me realize that, but it's whatever. So I thought. Well, this past Saturday, literally two days ago, I ended up taking my sister to the mall because it's getting very, very cold here in South Carolina and I don't have any jeans. This is besides the point, but I was shopping for jeans. I was shopping for clothes. It was payday and I was like, I'm gonna go spend my money and get some clothes. You have a two story mall. They have like the walkways on the second story and then you can like look over on the side and it's kind of like a giant balcony and you can just look over and you can look down onto the first floor and everyone's just walking, you know, doing their own little thing. So my sister and I are walking and she's like talking to me and everything and I'm just looking at the ground because again, socially awkward cannot deal with a lot of humans in one place at one time. I just so happen to look up and I look over to the opposite side on the other walkway and guess who I see? Jail guy. So I thought he was jail guy, but he's noticeably not in jail. He's out in the mall in a public place walking around. And he was walking around with another girl. So I'm just like, what? So the only logical thing that I can think of is that we went on the first date, date, and he might have liked it. Might have not. He said that he did, but you know, it's not the first time he would have lied. And then he was like, this bitch crazy. Like, I don't want to go out on another date with her, but I'm going to say that I'm going to, and then I'm going to stop talking to her. And when she notices, I'm going to say that I went to jail for a speeding ticket, but then I'm going to back it up with, I might go to jail again. And then I'm going to go to jail again and just not talk to her and just unfriend her and just block her on all social media. So that's the story about how my date went to jail, but didn't really go to jail. And then he lied to me about going to jail so that he, he wouldn't have to go out with me again. Oh, this is a really sad story. Like I feel bad for myself, but at the same time, this is so hilariously funny. And the fact that this would happen to me, like this always happens to me. I mean, I don't always date guys and then them lie to me about going to jail. This is definitely a first. Yeah, so that's my story. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and hit that nice little red subscribe button down at the bottom so that you can become part of this internet family that we have just, you know, growing. Cause we've grown a lot in the past month. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing remainder of your week. I'm gonna go to work now because I'm a busy working woman and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.